Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're doing a balance worth today. It's a map by Debray, three minute time limit. And I think this might be like the Nords. Uh, we are on the right hand side. We do have a yellow license plate here and a yellow license plate here. So that could be Denmark. However, it could be the Netherlands. And uh, that looks like the Netherlands to me because of the lack of accents. Oh god, this is not going to be a fun day. Lack of accents for sure. Uh, I'm does say Holland, uh, Zood Holland, which is South Holland, as far as I'm concerned, which is the Netherlands. So probably the rivers down here, Middleburg. Uh, I don't know actually where the province of South Holland is. Uh, does this tell us we're in South Holland? No, that says North Brada. There's South Holland. But again, we're near water, so it would be over here. Really? Okay. Uh, what else can we get from this? If anything. Real estate... They're basically building houses. Uh, those are the companies, the director, the operator. But that is probably the best thing that we have the South Holland. Obviously, we have street signs. We have a body of water. That doesn't necessarily help us. It should, but it, it doesn't really. Uh, our best bet, as of right now, we know the general region. Now we need to find the town name. And I don't think the town name is going to be South Holland. Right? So, can we find something that says, I don't know, Gordek or Rotterdam or The Hog? Uh, I don't think it's going to be a major city. A big city, maybe, but nothing too big. Uh, it's a construction company. We do have, like, a pretty weird looking building. I thought that was going to be a boat. That's a river boat. That might have, like, a. Oh, a tourism thing listed on it. The town is called Al Alblasserdam. And then we're also leaving Kinderjerk. Well, again, along a body of water. Fuck. This could also be down here. Could be over here, could be up here. Wait, Kinder Drill? Yeah, right here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that is us leaving that town. That is currently where we are. We are entering Alberushjom. Um, so in, in here-ish. Uh, and not bad. Uh, obviously the wrong body of water. It was the one to our south. Uh, we do get five extra points over tourists, which is always nice. Uh, not a bad guess. Really not. Is this going to be Gibraltar? Or Malta? Uh, it feels like we're on the right hand side. It is Gen 3. Single white divider line. And I'm pretty sure the first one I saw was English. Uh, which would get rid of Gibraltar. Which does not use English. Something now. It's, it's going to be blurred. White license plate in the front. Yellow in the back. But we are on the right hand side. Is fucking A. The only place I know that does that is the UK, and we're on the right hand side, so we're not even driving on the right side of the road. What the fuck? I think it has to be Malta. I think it has to be. Ah, uh, a crest that doesn't help us bus stop. Doesn't Malta drive on the left though? Dot net? You couldn't you couldn't fucking throw me a fucking bone? It's English? It's right hand side, it's white to bottom line, it feels Mediterranean. I honestly can't think of any other place it could be besides Malta. I honestly can't. Now obviously we, we probably don't have the greatest world view, but an English speaking Mediterranean feel, sun to the south, we are in the northern hemisphere, with EU license plates and English speaking. Could it be Gibraltar? Eh, it could be. It, it very well could be the rock of fucking Gibraltar right here. 
I think it might make sense. But at the same time, I don't know if it does. I think Gibraltar is an English colony. I honestly do. I think they speak English. It would make sense for the EU plates. Well, the UK plates. The white in the front and the yellow in the back. It would make sense for the English if it was an English-speaking area. And it kind of makes sense because it feels like we're on a peninsula. And there's the other end of it. It, it I kind of want to say it has to be. Well, we might be down here more. I almost feel like it has to be Gibraltar. I'm losing my fucking mind. Because it's either Gibraltar or Malta, and they're not close together. And we haven't exactly had the greatest set of clues. Because we have English and we have UK plates. We're, we're, we're making a play. We do have that island to our south. What does that tell us? That doesn't help us. Mosque of the Custodian of the Two Holy more cues whatever the fuck that means all right we're gonna stick in gibraltar it's probably gonna be malta but no it does end up being gibraltar and we do get a perfect score that's actually pretty goddamn lucky that's pretty goddamn fucking lucky you don't see gibraltar too often you really don't i'm actually pretty happy about that I'm pretty happy we got lucky enough to get a perfect score. Ah, uh, Gen 4 coverage, probably South America. Right-hand side. Let's see. We do have language. Uh, looks like it could be Brazil. We have nine nines. It looks like Portuguese, and it doesn't look like Spanish. And it's in two different languages. Yeah, no, of the Amazon. So this is this is probably Brazil. The fact that it's a 99 area code does put us in the northwest of Brazil. Like over here, Roramia, Amazonia, which would kind of make sense for the cultural center of the Amazon. That, however, not too helpful. Hmm. President Costa e Silva. There's the Portuguese. Just to confirm it. Uh, can we find a different phone number than just a 9? Because a 9-1 would tell us it's near a major city. A 9-2 would tell us it's near a major city, but not the largest city. And then everything else is kind of just around. I feel like 9-9 might be mobile, because we're seeing 9-9 everywhere. Right? So 9-9, we can assume is mobile. 9-9, 9-8. I think we have to be up here. And there's not really too much coverage in the state of Amazonias. I don't think it's my mouse. Fuck. 9-2. Okay. No, let's let's keep it by Boa Vista. Uh, you know what? Manaus. It's a major city. A 9-2 might make sense. It is a truck, so trucks do travel. And this is where the nines are. Although I think the nines are actually closer to over here. I think Belim is 9-1 and Macapa is, is 9-2. But that just tells us where that truck is from. It doesn't necessarily tell us that that is where we are currently located. Except there's another 9-2, and that's on a store. So 9-9, I think it's safe to assume, is mobile. And 9-2 is telling us where we are. Uh, if we return to start, we do have like a river to our west. Well, I don't know if I'd call that a river. More of a stream or a drainage ditch. Uh, let's head north a little bit. I don't really see anything... My, like super important the 9-2 is probably the best thing we have we kind of need to eh, you know what let's go back to that bus buses are sometimes pretty good uh it has an m on it it says marco polo which is the name of that uh, portuguese explorer which makes sense for why Mar marco polo on uh, then 614 t2 which is probably the route number it doesn't tell us the name of the city and we are out of time but maybe that would help uh, and it ends up being in Manaus, which we did have a guest in at one point, but we, we did move it. So that's going to be where we lose it. Ah, uh, Russia. Fuck. Maybe Taurus fucked up Russia. I don't see it happening. 
but we we could hope, right? Uh, kind of feels east, like eastern Russia. I wouldn't be surprised if we are central to east, kind of over by uh, Lake Bacall, but I don't think it's quite over here. Dirt roads, we might want to guess Kamchatka, but I don't see any hills or mountains in the distance. And I think it takes away from the Kamchatka area. Uh, I don't believe we're going to find any signs along the way that are going to point us to where to guess in Russia. And even if they do, we probably are going to translate a street sign again instead of the name of the road. Because we're just really good at that. Uh, we might get lucky. That's obviously going to be a bus stop. It might be the name of the town, but I don't want to risk it. I know sometimes you have to risk it for the biscuit, but you kind of need to play safe when it comes to Russia. And we don't play safe enough when we come to Russia. We kind of do take some major risks. Uh, but it feels like a small town in the middle of nowhere, honestly. It feels like there might be something here that we could use to our advantage. But the odds of that happening are probably slim to none. Especially since in Russia, for some reason, you don't really find... What the fuck is going on here? You don't really find road numbers or names on the map that translate well. So we could, we could very well be on a national highway of Russia. Let's call it Russia Highway 2. And we will never find a sign that tells us that we are on Russia Highway 2. For whatever fucking reason. And even if we do find a sign, the odds of us then finding it on a map, pretty slim to none. They just, it's kind of like Korea. You have to zoom in really far to be able to see those, those numbers. Uh, there is Cyrillic, just to confirm it. Obviously, we kind of know we're in Russia based on the shape of the roads. Uh, the architecture, the way the light poles are. That general feel, obviously, does help us. But Russia's pretty fucking massive. And if we guess the wrong side, we are not getting any points. And that's actually kind of the sign we want to see. But we have 30 seconds. So, do we see anything on here? The Black Sea. That is fucking over here. You're telling me we're down here? Obviously, it's the hotel, right? Hotel of the Black Sea. That doesn't necessarily mean we're near the Black Sea, but that's the only real source of, I don't know, name that we have that we can recognize. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up over here. But the Hotel of the Black Sea maybe puts us near the Black Sea. Uh, and it actually ends up being the Ukraine. Really? Ah, uh, we didn't have red car. I'm almost positive we didn't have red car. We are along the border of Moldavo. Literally on the border of Moldavo. Was there the letter I that I just didn't see? It's possible. And then we don't have to worry about Crimea, even though it's Ukrainian. Or you could call it Russian, depending on, I don't know, what year you started paying attention to politics. But, I don't know, I don't think we, it is on the Black Sea, so it does make sense, but I, I was convinced I was Russian. And a yellow divider with some bollards, and we do have the Peru bollards over here. So we are in the wonderful world of Peru. Now comes the hard part of finding a town that exists within, I don't know, five miles of us? Or maybe it's not that hard. Uh, Despacio Curva, so slow the fuck down. There's a pretty big curve up ahead. That's essentially what that means. Uh, I think Despacio is calm down. It might actually mean slow down. Let's see, probably the same sign, the same sign. We did have a kilometer marker, can it, that wasn't a kilometer marker, that was. Uh, I don't think it tells us the root number, just 109. Uh, that very well could be the number of the road that we are currently on, but I am more likely to believe that that is going to be a kilometer marker. If we could find another one and it still says 109, uh, I'll be more likely to believe that this is Peru route number 109. If it's a different number, then obviously we are kind of going up. Kind of feels like the area you'd expect to see around the Nazca lines. Does it not? I, I, they're probably not Nazca lines, these. These are probably something different. They very well could be, don't get me wrong, 
but I'm, I'm more likely to believe they're not. They look like roads, because we have a building down here, it looks like we have a river out here, more buildings. So they look like roads, and not the Nazca lines. I mean, we could guess around Nazca for, you know, point optimization. But I'm, I'm more likely to believe this is probably going to be towards the middle of the country, and not towards the south near Nazca. But we're looking, we're looking for, for any kind of sign. We are heading one direction. I thought this was downhill. It looks like it's downhill. And usually you want to head south, well, down from the peak. So if you can get off the peak, you can usually find something. So prohibited of fucking around with the local fauna. So don't don't go hunting, I'm gonna say is probably what that sign really means. Haven't seen another one of those markers to have a kilometer on it. We do have another vehicle. And it is a debris map, so we could have a debris location where this isn't actually Peru, even though the bollards are telling us is. Does that sign tell us anything? We have 10 seconds. If it just says, like, welcome to Nazca, we'll move it, right? It does. We're not gonna find anything. Alright, hope for fucking luck. That's kind of a hedge bet near the mountains. Hope for luck. Ends up being way further south. Uh, what road was this? 36A. So it definitely wasn't 109. It looks like if we would have gone the other direction, we would have found a pretty decent sized intersection. Where I'm guessing it would have told us 36A and 36B. And then we would have had to find those on the map. And it looks like 36B and 36A are actually pretty easy to find. So then we would just need to find the intersection. Obviously we didn't do that. And uh, we do end up losing... I think our worst was the Russia to Ukraine, but Brazil's a pretty close second, and Peru obviously not that bad either. Uh, and we are in last place, amazingly. So Taurus is in first place at 21, 645. Looks like your worst was Peru. Definitely the worst was Peru. Martin in second, not too far behind, going with Argentina instead of Peru, but still getting a very good score. Uh, in third was Scribbles at 20,022 points. Looks like also going with the same area of Russia I went with. And going with North Brazil and then probably around Nazca. Eh, close enough to Nazca, closer than I was. Bo in 4th at 19881, going with near Moscow. Uh, getting a better Brazil guess and then same area of Peru that we generally guessed. So uh, overall, uh, we didn't do too bad. Obviously we could have done a little bit better. But hindsight is one hell of a thing. Uh, Brazil... Phone number, I guess 92, is that town that we originally threw our fucking guess in. Uh, and I guess we have to look for the letter I in Russia, even though, you know, it was the Ukraine. But overall, not bad. Hopefully next time we do do a little bit better, but you can't win them all. But that is going to be where we call it for the day, so thank you all so much for being here. Sorry that we weren't able to stream yesterday. Uh, the internet has been shitty the past few days. Uh, I've been resetting it, but you know what happens when... You know, I don't know. I think school started in the, the town near me. Which means we have a bunch of kids online for, for college. And that could be taking a lot of the bandwidth. And allowing me to have really shitty internet. But I'm not too sure. Uh, we are looking into getting that new ISP. They have updated us. They are now coming in, in fall to winter of 2020 due to coronavirus. Uh, so hopefully we do get a better ISP out there. And hopefully everything transfers nicely. Uh, but... That is going to be where we call us. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for all the love and support you put on the Wednesday video. Uh, you know, the whole family appreciates it. I, I appreciate it. Thank you again. Uh, but we will be back tomorrow at the same time. That is 3 p.m. Eastern for another video. But until then, enjoy the rest of your day. And bye-bye.